um, put this moment in history in context. We are weeks away from the presidential election. It's, you know, there is a very checkered history of American presidents, even in the best of times, sharing accurate medical information with the public. Uh, it's just, it, it's far more the exception to have that happen than, than the rule. But this is a pandemic. Uh, about Woodrow Wilson. Sorry? This is a pandemic. This is a, a highly uh, contagious virus. So it's one thing if presidents are like, you know, uh, trying to make sure they seem strong and maybe, you know, give or take a few pounds on their weight. This is a highly contagious, deadly pandemic. Well, it, it is. But, but John, as you mm -hmm. say, even under the best of circumstances, uh, presidents, and of course, yeah. the, the most dramatic example you were about to point out, Woodrow Wilson, for uh, the last year of his presidency, even kept his own vice president in the dark about the fact that he was in terrible shape. Oh. Yeah. He was, he was debilitated. He'd had a stroke. They lied about it. Uh, it's, no, it's, it's, it's terrible. And, and Mika, I, look, I, I'm with you. I just, there's no evidence over the last five years of public life and, and three years of the presidency that anybody close to the president is remotely with you. And so what I was going to say is, in the best of times, presidents don't tend not to level with us. And it's a bipartisan point. They just they, they don't like admitting weakness, et cetera, et cetera. It has had a deleterious effect on the life of the nation, unquestionably. We need transparency. We need a flow of accurate information. But is there anything in your experience, in our national experience over the last several years with this administration that suggests that's what we're about to get? And the answer to that rhetorical question is no. That does not mean any of us wish the president and the first lady ill. It does not mean that we are, we are being reflexively partisan. It does not mean that we are trying to weaponize a terrible diagnosis. But it does mean that the essence of democratic lowercase d survival has to be an engagement with facts and truth. We cannot continue as a nation to engage in wishful thinking and reflexive tribalism. And this is unfolding in a 30-day window where we're facing one of the starkest choices we faced since the Civil War, if not the starkest since the Civil War. And so I think that we're going to spend the next days, uh, hopefully, getting, seeking uh, the information we need for the country to make an, an informed decision. But I think all of us, I think members of Congress, I think voters, I hope the, the people who are close to the president will see that there is a virtue in being straightforward about this. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.